Hello guys, welcome back to a vlog. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, happy back to school season if any of you guys are students going back to school, but I'm not, thank God. It's a typical day here. Got everybody in the yard eating. Um, exciting news, I did show Dolly last night to a gal that is looking for a steady eddy type of horse and they responded to me this morning that they would take her so I'm considering her sold slash pending um I had her sold once but the people that wanted her had to back out for some financial reasons but yeah so hopefully cross my fingers that that works out um and that she goes to her new home in a couple days. I gotta let my chickens out because they've been yelling at me this morning. Come on, Rachel. There's Linda. And Rachel, who's afraid of me for some reason. But, um, figured I'd vlog today. I haven't vlogged for you guys in a while. And, um, Looks like somebody is eating bark off a tree over there. Two trees. I don't know why everybody keeps eating bark off of the trees in this place. It's getting irritating. Get this one. And there's one over there, that one. Oh, it doesn't look like horse teeth. It's probably the goats. Stupid freaking goats. This is the type of stuff they do. Instead of eating all that greenery over there, they do crop like that. Buy goats, they said. It'd be fun, they said. Today I am off, so I'm gonna work on just some projects at home. Doing some fence work, and I pulled this um, telephone pole up cut it there in the middle and I am going to try and dig the holes because I'm going to start this process of putting up um, a lean-to for the horses so that they have some sort of windbreak and shelter for the winter. Um, so, so yeah, we're going to try that and see how that goes. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get these in there I'm probably gonna have to tie up Hazel and like try to roll them in there because they're 10 foot long and they ain't gonna be light so we'll see what do you want squirt hey. I already fed you I'm sure there's still food in your bowl over there so been doing that been um, stripping some furniture that I'll show you guys quick not that you guys really care but in case you're interested you is not going to follow me around and meow all day. That's for one thing. Already got one cat that does that. Um, so my tack room has kind of become a storage shed as well. I've got the coffee table that I started. And I'm going to be refinishing these um, on camera and uploading them on my other channel. So if you guys haven't seen my other channel, I'll leave it linked down below. I don't really upload on it anymore, but I wanted to start um, trying to redo these pieces. So I have been recording it and I will then upload on, on that channel when they're finished. But my coffee table got that free desk off the side of the highway the other day. And then this is my side table from my bedroom that I just want to try and refinish. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to dig some post holes, but first I actually wanna measure how wide these are because my dad lended me his like antique post hole digger that's like over a hundred years old, but it digs up to a 12 inch hole. Um, and I feel like these are probably gonna be close. So this is the, the bigger one because it's the other end. This is about 10 inches wide. 
this one. Uh, these ones kind of iffy looking. This, okay, this end looks like the nicer end, so I'll probably put this end in the ground. This one's only seven and a half. Pretty doable. Um, so yeah, I do need to get another telephone pole. And they're kind of hard to find right now. I don't know why, like my local power company doesn't have any retired ones to give away. And then I can't find any on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or anything. It's really annoying, but I'm gonna get my postal digger and we'll try and dig some holes. So I talked about this on the podcast episode that I recorded today. If you guys haven't seen the videos, um, I am posting my podcast videos um, on YouTube, but it's also available on Anchor and Spotify. So if you guys are listeners, you know, you'd prefer to listen over watch, you can find it there. But I talked about it today. Oh, by the way, it's called the Horse Girl Hype if you search for it. That's the official name. It was, I had like a couple different names in mind, but couldn't decide. So when I created it, I just put like whatever came to my mind. So I changed it. It's called the Horse Girl Hype now, but I talked about it in that episode today that I stubbed my toe last night really hard and this is the first time that I've ever stubbed my toe and thought that I actually may have like fractured it or broke my toe because I stubbed my pinky toe on a box last night and didn't really think much of it I just kind of like <clears throat> moaned <laughs> grunted in pain and moved on with my night but I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth and stuff and was like god I can't god I like can't lift my toe like it really still hurts like 15 minutes later I got in bed and was like oh it'll feel better in the morning I got up this morning and oh my god my toe it hurts so bad I'm like limping oh my god because it hurts to walk on and it is like all swollen up and it's blue and purple and oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. Like to put my socks on because like the pressure of my sock against my toe, it hurts really bad. So that's great. I really hope it feels better tomorrow because I don't really want to um, try and buy and stuff with my toe hurting so bad. But got my post hole digger here and I I'm trying to loosen it because it's set for a seven inch hole right now but I need obviously a 10 so I'm gonna try and loosen it or make it wider somehow just held with with this wing nut So I took this off because I thought this was how you widened it, but that doesn't appear to be connected to anything, you know? So I don't really know how you make this wider. My dad told me it will widen and you can dig up to a foot wide hole. I don't think it does, honestly. Shut up! Oh my god, you guys, the cats in this place are so freaking annoying. Like, what is their problem? Shut up! I don't care. Squirt. Take your problems somewhere else. I'm not convinced that this gets wider, y'all. I'm really not. 
Okay, I texted my dad and he said that it doesn't connect to anything. It's just supposed to stick out farther than the actual diameter to let you dig farther. And that's kind of what I was wondering because this like looks like a blade. So I think this is how it goes together. Um, but this is the current post hole digger. So it's pretty different than the normal ones, how they look today but it's an antique, so I don't know what these dates mean, but, but there's those. And you just twist it. It like twists down into the dirt, so we're gonna give it a whirl. All right, guys, I'm in Hazel's lot, and this is the area that I'm thinking I'm going to put it because this is a north-facing fence or it's like the north fence. And like the reason that I worry about my horses in the winter or like I would worry specifically about BB because she would shiver is because the north wind comes out of this direction and just like hits this lot so hard. So that's why I definitely wanna put it on this side to create a wind block and um, give them something to get behind, so. Yeah, I think it's gonna go right here. This is a little bit of a downhill slope, so um, I will have to figure out kind of how to level it, but yeah, that's my plan. Hope it works. <laughs> Ugh, all right guys, got one hole done. I went down to 42 inches instead of three foot because I texted my brother and my dad and they said a little bit deeper would be better. So they're 42 inches deep. They're just gonna be a little bit less than seven foot tall on the backside, but um, I'm tired. That was a lot of work and I'm gonna go in and get some lunch. All right, guys, it's like a little after three o'clock, but I have gotten both posts in. I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see. Now, because this is a downhill slope, 
This one I think is sitting just a couple inches shorter than that one, but I tried to take that into consideration and put some more dirt back in that hole, but I guess it wasn't enough. Oh well, I think it will still be okay, but they're a little over six foot tall, which I think will be fine for the back half. I've got a little stake um, where I want the other two poles, and I actually found someone on Facebook that has some that I can have, so I'm going to go get them this weekend. But I have stuck some boards in here to keep them straight up and down. And so I actually feel like this hole is rather large for this pole. Kind of wish it wasn't so big, but oh well. Um, gonna go get some bags of cement next time I go to the store, which I should do today anyways. And then I will put a bunch of cement at the bottom before I cover it with dirt and we'll have two poles. Hazel has kind of been like snooping around down here cause she's not sure what everything is. And it's just kind of funny cause she like comes down and she checks it out. And then she's like, you know, I don't think so. So she goes back up there, but uh, yeah, that was a hard day's work. <laughs> that was, I've been out here since like 11 o'clock. So just been like listening to YouTube videos and podcasts and all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to just gather up my things so they're in one area and she doesn't step on them and break them. Or the goats. But yeah. Okay. I went inside, had a snack break. Um, my toe is still turning purple. It's really painful, but we're getting through it. It, it feels better to walk on than it did this morning. Um, obviously because I've been sleeping on it all night, but hi Shugs. You being a good girl. You want to ride this weekend? She's like, hell no. <laughs> but um, anyways, I wanted to share something with you guys because I'm kind of debating something. Go away. So this area um, that I have set up I've got this small lot right here, and then Dillis is on the other side of this fence in the bigger area. Um, it was three small areas, but I took um, another middle fence line down to use the posts for over there. But anyways, I was thinking, I've been riding Dillis in here, and I've honestly kind of enjoyed like the flatness of right here. <laughs> Get. Um, it's obviously not perfectly fat, flat, but it's fairly flat. And so I was kind of considering maybe next year pushing this fence line back a little ways and then using this as my arena, which I really could call it that if these trees weren't here, but you know, they can always go at some point. Um, but I think this would be really easy to level out and the drainage is so much better now that the shingle pile is gone. Like the water doesn't just sit here. So I'm really considering that. And then using the area that I set up down there as part of like my trail obstacle thing. I still have my trail obstacles down here. Um, getting buried by weeds, but the weeds are so hard to keep up with down here. Like the grass gets so tall. Um, but have these down here and then I could just kind of, if I took down part of the riding areas fence down there, just continue it on over there. Once all this is cleaned up, once this is burned, bringing out a bag of trash right now, but this is the main eyesore and I can't wait till it's burnt away and gone and then this area will just be a little bit more open and I can mow it and then we could have obstacles in there yeah so just a thought I don't know what's gonna happen yet but that would be a little bit nicer of an area to have the arena had this big pallet sitting over here that I just haven't had anything to do with but I think I'm gonna make it a bridge Either a bridge or a teeter-totter. Um, I mean, it could be both, honestly. But I need some plywood to go over top of it. 
and then put it on uh, something to teeter it. But yeah. Also, I don't know if I've shown you guys my new trailer yet. <laughs> um, it's been here for a couple weeks now, I think, but I don't, I don't know that I've showed you guys it in the video. This is my new trailer. Um, I call her Big Red in my head. Um, but this trailer we've actually had, I guess, for like the last year and a half. Um, my dad bought it as my, well, I don't know if he necessarily bought it for my graduation gift, my college graduation, but he bought it at that time for scrap metal because he was going to scrap it. But once he picked it up, he realized that this trailer is in really good shape and he couldn't bring himself to scrap it. So he like, he just gave it to me basically. Um, and it has been at the welders ever since, which is a whole nother story. The welder took so long, but it didn't have any fenders. It didn't have the running boards. It was just, it was, it was in crappy shape, but good enough shape to be salvaged. Um, so my dad salvaged it and now it's here. And it's a seven foot tall feather light. So it's taller than the orange one. Um, and it's in really good shape now, but this side is pink and this side is red. And so I don't really know what the story is, if it actually sat in somebody's field for so long that one side sun faded or not, or if he did try and do any painting, the welder, cause like there's paint on this and this too. So I don't know, I don't know. Um, tires are in really good shape. I don't know if they're new or not. It has this side door and the floor, like look at the floor. It's in such good shape. There's one board I think he said that was iffy. I think it's this one that's cracked there, but Look at this thing, guys. The inside looks great, like it had been painted. I wonder if somebody started painting it as a project and then never finished it. But this thing is spacious. Like, look at, my arms are all the way up and still not even touching the ceiling and I'm 5'5". Five five. So, yeah, it's narrow. I don't know, actually I don't think it's any narrower than my other trailer, it's just taller so like it looks narrower. But it's got the divider here and yeah it's a 16 foot stock trailer these windows actually the slots have the track to put in the plexiglass so i'm thinking if i can find a feather light dealer and i can order those plexiglass strips this would be way better for camping like i could put some fans in here i got my plexiglass so i don't have to worry about if it rains it's so much more spacious. Um, I think it would be really good for camping in, and it's tall, so I wouldn't feel near as cramped. But yeah, that's my new trailer. Um, kind of forgot about it. Oh, even the door has tracks for the plexiglass. That's super cool. I'm really excited to have that. And I'm excited to try out this, this trailer. Um, it does not have a title or anything. So, I don't know, this trailer doesn't have a title either. Never has, I haul it all over the place. N never gotten pulled over, nobody's ever <laughs> asked about a plate or anything. So I'm not really that worried about it. I guess if I take it like far away, I can use the license plate that's on my, my this trailer. Um, I know that the lights don't work, so I don't know if the brakes work either. So I'm gonna have to, investigate that but that's my new trailer that I forgot I had to show you guys but other than that tonight I think I'm just going to work with Oakley Hazel Dillis and um, work on my furniture so I don't know what I want to do first it's still really just kind of hot in the sun so I might work with Hazel and Oakley first because their pens are both very shaded. I also want to try rolling the st this stock tank into Hazel's pen. 
um because I've been meaning to do that like all summer since it's been here and I just haven't got to it but it's really heavy so it's not like I can lift it or drag it so I'm gonna have to literally roll it like flip it all the way over there um but yeah maybe I'll, I don't know it's five o'clock Good job. Good job, but you have to do the work to get the pellet. All right, guys, I worked both Hazel and Oakley, and I'm about to ride Dillis. I'm not going to film it, though, just because my battery is dying on my phone, but I'll spare you the lunging footage and riding around in a circle footage. But both girls did really good. Um, Oakley, that was the first time I've tried to actually pick out Oakley's feet, so she was a bit worried or just confused about the like the picking feeling. So she gave me a little bit of trouble, but not too bad. She got the hang of it pretty quickly, so I was able to pick out her feet just a little bit. Um, and Hazel did really good with her desensitizing. She did give me a rope burn that hurts <laughs> really bad, but... Um, but she came back from, she ripped away from me, basically, um, because she wouldn't hold still. And when they don't hold still, I usually back them up or bop them just to, like, a hey, hold still. And she wouldn't, she was just dancing all over and did it more and did it more and eventually just ripped away from me. So, but she came back when I went to get her. She came back and we just kept doing what we were doing. And it was like, she thought, oh, well, that didn't get me anywhere. So she just stood there and let me keep throwing the saddle pad on her. So otherwise she did very good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and ride Dillis now, but just wanted to pop in here for a quick vlog because I haven't vlogged in quite a while. Um, 
and I'll keep you updated on the shelter. So I'll see you guys in the next video and oh, check out the description box for all my links and my social medias and my buy me a coffee where you can donate to support this channel and my new podcast. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.